What was the motivation behind uh, going up to those 2,000 strangers and asking those three questions? How do I love myself? How to find happiness? And uh, uh, how to change my life? Like, wh- wh- when did you do that? And why did you do that? So um, I remember I was just praying. I was like, God, send me a sign. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, what do you, what do you use me? Like, what do you, like, give me what, what do you need me for? Like, I'll do it. And people just kept saying, you should write a book. You should write a book. You should write a book. And usually when things come in in multitudes like that, and it keeps coming, it's because I probably ignored the signs early on. But when they keep coming like that, it's because something's trying to get my attention. So finally, I decided to write a book called Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life. I didn't know how. I didn't know a publisher. I didn't know anything. And... You know, while I was in the process, and you know, it was a five year process to write my book, but it didn't take me five years to write it. It was five years because I was just like, um, like I'm trying to write the perfect book. To say I'm a follower of Christ, but my best friend's Jewish, and and I have Muslim friends, and I have gay friends, and I have all these. And how do I write a book that 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 fits everybody? That was where the difficulty was. Instead of just writing mm-hmm. my book from my own story, instead of trying to please people. So I went through that whole process, but in that process, I just decided to ask, it's like, if you can ask the universe three questions regarding change and you could get the answer, what would it be? So at every event I ever went to, I would just hand out cards. I still have them right now. You know, I have them like, it's funny. I just found this box and all my index cards and it has all these questions. Well, the questions that got asked the most, I felt like I could answer or support the world's, the statistic of the world's questions. So whichever question was asked the most, what's my purpose? How do I find love? You know what I'm saying? That's a question that millions of other more people are asking. If that's the commonality of a question. So when it came to that, that became the questions that I answered inside of my book because the people asked it. So that was an everyday people's guide to understanding the questions that you typically ask every day. Mm. And what is the youth foundation? It was, you know, I'll tell you. So I have the change your mindset youth foundation. And in that, and when I created it, it's because someone else suggested it. Mm -hmm. So it's something that went on the back burner because it's not something that I resonated with right then in the moment, but it's somebody said, Oh, you should do, it's time to do a foundation now. So I went to Mm. go do a foundation now, but it just didn't resonate with me now. It's kind of like when somebody was like, okay, Hey, let's go to church. Well, I don't want to go to church right now, but I did it because I was like, I don't want God to be mad at me. So I'm going to go. But I don't, so it's on the back burner for right now because there's some things that I am taking care of regarding men, um, regarding my own life, my family, my new daughter, my daughter that's almost 20 years old. And, um, but the Change Your Mindset Youth Foundation is a foundation that will support underprivileged youth that came from similar vi- environments. Uh, that I had, and there was, there'll be books and apps and 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 opportunities to connect, almost like a Big Brother type program, with um, with the 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 youth who need a certain level of ex- education because they don't get access to it. Your name, uh, Garen. Where, where is that from? <clears throat> um, well, my mom's name is Sharian. Mm. And she wanted something close to that. And her friend said, how about the name Garen? And she really liked it. And so, but that's not the story I grew up with. I Mm. actually heard another story and I think my brother lied to me. And so (laughs) I'm just finding this out as of like a year ago. Like my brother, when I grew up, he used to, Man, he used to just sabotage me. I think he was just so jealous of the attention I got. But 
he told me that they, my name was originally supposed to be Garyan. That's named after my mom, Sharian and Garyan, but the doctor misspelled my name. And so my, the, we didn't have the money to, to, um, to actually like correct it. So it was just Garen. So I went my whole life thinking that I was a mistake. Mm. So I found <laughs> out that some of the greatest inventions in the world came from mistakes. So I like kind of rewrote that, but then I just found out when, when I think my wife asked my mom, she had a completely different story, but my mother never told me that story. I just went off my brother's story. If you like that video, you're gonna love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here and I'll see you over there.